Howdy guys, it's Joe here, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about One Trick Ponies. Now, how this kind of came into my mind was, first off, I've been seeing a lot of these guys in Ranked, and second off, I have a Smurf account where I'm trying to One Trick Pony myself up to Diamond uh, with a character that I used to really suck as, and I still feel like I'm not really the best as, but... Yeah, you know, um, but anyways, I want to talk about some of the benefits and also uh, some of the big problems that a lot of you guys can see from. Now, what is a one-trick pony? Well, I'd say it's a little bit different from having a main. When you have a main, uh, let's say that, for example, you're maining Soldier 76, you usually main him and then you play a few other characters. Let's say you play Soldier and then you also play uh, Anna and Reinhardt or, you know, some other characters, maybe Soldier, Reaper, and Tracer, at least, you know, some characters. Um, but when I mean one-trick ponies, uh, I pretty much mean... Either you're playing someone like only Genji and Tracer, which pretty much do the same thing, uh, you're playing one character like Hanzo, or you, really you're just playing a singular character and barely ever picking up anyone else. You always lock in the same character and you always go in with them first. So that's really what I define as the difference from having a main to being a one-trick pony type of person. But what are the, some of the things that a one-trick pony player uh, comes with? Well, I'm going to tell you guys from at least my own experience uh, from trying to, you know, get up there a little bit, uh, learning a bit about Hanzo. Now, of course, Hanzo is a character that a lot of people uh, hate to see on their team. I, f I feel like he's okay against the tank meta right now. Uh, you know, not the best, but he's really fun to pick up and he's really fun to play in my game. So I decided I'm going to play him. Uh, the thing about One Trick Ponies, though, that is very nice is that, for example, for myself, I was really honestly not that great at Hanzo, and I'm still really honestly not way too great. I only have about like five hours in him in total, but simply by playing a lot of him and playing game after game, you can become very good at a character. And I feel like this is something that a lot of people kind of understand. If you keep playing the same character over and over and over again, you're going to learn a lot more situations, you're going to learn exactly when to play them, and exactly how to play them. And as well, if you get into your mind that you want to, you know, be a one-trick pony or at least play one character a ton for like an entire week, well, if you spam a lot of time in one week, it'll give you a lot more results than, you know, putting some time into him here and there over like a month or two months. It's just putting a lot of time into a character during like a week does a lot better, and having one trick kind of can help you a little bit right there as you're just playing the same character over and over again. As well, it can help you really learn all the matchups in the game. I can give you a very good fundamental basic about how to play the game. If you're a person that always plays tons of different characters, and then you decide one day, you know, I'm just going to play this one character for like a week or two, you can get a lot better at the game a lot faster, uh, because you learn the character, and then you can start learning the more basic and more advanced mechanics that apply to every character. And that's probably a really nice thing about this as well. It can really help you improve quite quickly. And finally, it can help you get a lot more rank. Honestly, if you're going in with with one character if you can play them again and again you're gonna be a lot better than the enemy that's playing this character and you're gonna be taking them out as much as possible now when you first hear of one trick ponies you really think of offense players defense players widowmaker players a hondo players i guess but you can also one trick pony in other characters maybe you're an anna one trick maybe you're a lucio one trick maybe you're a tank one trick and i'd say really if you are playing a tank or support one trick you can pretty much play that character all the time with no problem nobody on your team yelling at you because most people don't want to play those characters you can almost always get them and do very very well with that character so i'd say really there's not way too many bad things about one tricking uh, a tank or a support in a lot of cases while offense and defense while they can be good and while they can help you carry yourself they make you a lot better a lot quicker a lot of times your team either wants to already pick them you already have too many offense characters or it's just not really going to play well into your team comp which is a big problem about one tricking if you do play a lot like this uh sometimes your character just simply is terrible with the team comp that being said you might be able to overcome that just by being so good with your character for example widowmaker she obviously doesn't fit the best with really any team comp but if you're like a god with her you can double headshot the enemy supports well let's just say you're gonna win a lot of team fights so that's kind of what the one tricks can do they're way above everyone else what they're good at but at the same time they don't really fit into their team all the time and that can also make so that even though they're so good it can make them kind of useless in a lot of situations i know for myself sometimes hondo's just a terrible pick sometimes they have you know genji tracer uh, they have winston they have diva they're sending in everybody after me and i should switch but i'm trying to play the character so i don't switch and it's terrible y you really do want to switch if you possibly can as well with this sometimes your character is just kind of like counter the rest of your team for example if your team you know is like a slow pushy comp that has a lot of chip damage and then you happen to go genji or you happen to go winston that has to you know jump in and try to kill the back line uh you're not going to be helping way too much i feel like in a lot of situations these players can be very good very powerful do their job better than anyone else but at the same time you may end up being a useless teammate you may end up being someone that while you are very good at your job your job is not needed or your job is not going to apply here and that's really where i feel like this can't fall short 
if you're a one trick pony and if you're playing anyone but really tank and support as those mostly do fine unless you play Winston I guess um but otherwise if you're like offense or defense a lot of times you can fall short and you can just not help your team so I'd say being a one trick pony it does give you the benefits and especially in quick play I really only do that um in order to get a lot better game sense and game knowledge but in ranked, it's probably not going to always be the best idea. Now, with that said, I do recommend, again, having a main and doing, like, a subset of a one-trick pony where instead of, you know, just playing one character only, you play one main and two other characters. Preferably, you main a tank and you play an offense and a support, or really just flip that any way you want. You play a support and you play an offense and a tank or a defense and a tank. Do that. That's what I recommend, and that's kind of like the middle way in having a one-trick pony type of mindset and also going into, you know, having just playing everybody in the game, which can work because it gives you a lot of switching potential, but honestly, you're not going to be doing the best. Really having a nice medium between those two is really great. I'd say you just don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, and going this way gives you the benefit of being a one-trick and gives you, you know, ranking up a lot faster while also not being a useless teammate and also being able to help your team. So if you haven't been doing this already, I'd recommend try it out. Go pick up three characters and just play them. In the majority of situations, I haven't found a single situation where I haven't fit into the team comp with this. And you can also ask your team to, you know, kind of switch around. Maybe you could play the support while they could play the tank. Or maybe you could play, you know, Lucio if you only play him and ask them if they could play Ana or Zenyatta. It really works out if you just kind of communicate a bit. And having a main and two other characters, I don't know. It's something that I feel like is very, very nice in order to try to achieve in this game. Anyways, as always, that's just my own opinion. If you have a different one or if you think I'm wrong, then make sure to tell me in the comments section down below. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video and press subscribe. And the bell next to subscribe to, you know, actually subscribe because YouTube's a little bit broken. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, have a wonderful day.